Are you among such moms that wish to do exclusive breastfeeding for their babies? Unfortunately, due to the nature of your business, due to the nature of your work and other life engagements, you think you will not be able to pull through and as such you are thinking of maybe you should just go for formula feeding. Well, I'm here to share a very good and wonderful news with you. The good news is breast milk can be expressed and also can be stored or preserved for future consumption by your baby. All you need is a guide on how to express the breast milk and how to go about the storage or preservation. So, on today's video, I will be sharing with you how to go about expressing breast milk, what are the things you need for breast milk expression, what are the things you need for the preservation or storage of the breast milk, what you need to know about the temperature in which the breast milk can be stored and also for how long can the breast milk stay before it's been consumed by your baby. We're also going to look at what are the don'ts of breast milk storage. So kindly sit and take a ride with me into all of these things that I have mentioned. Now, how do you go about expressing a breast milk? All you need to do is you make sure that you eat enough, you eat healthy, and that there's a quality flow and supply of breast milk. Let's look at what are the things we need to get for breast milk expression. For you to be able to express breast milk, of course, you will need a breast pump. You will need either electric breast pump or a manual breast pump. You will need a container or a breast milk bottle or you go for zip locks that are meant for breast milk storage. Not just any one, not just any zip lock or bottles that you use at home. But you need the ones that are meant for breast milk storage to be able to do this. Another thing you will need if you can is to get a baby food warmer to enable you warm the baby food when it's time for you to give the baby now how do you go about expressing the breast milk first thing first wash your hands properly with soap and water after you must have washed your hands bring out your breast pump either the electric or the manual now you put it on the breast you pump it as much as you can at a go then you rest you allow the breast milk to gather again then you go back and repeat the first process. You express again. So after you must have pumped the quantity that you are able to produce for that time, you put them in the ziplock, put them according to the quantity your baby will be able to consume at a feed. After you put them, say start with about 120 ml. That's two ounces. After you put them in the bottles, the next thing to do is you get a permanent marker and a sticker because you need to write the date. You need to write the date on which you have expressed that breast milk in order to avoid some breast milk staying longer than they should in the fridge or in the freezer. Now, this takes me to the next question that you would want to ask. How long does the breast milk stay? Breast milk can stay in the freezer up to 12 months. It is more advisable to make or make your baby to consume it in 3 months because the longer the breast milk stays in the freezer, the greater the chances of the vitamin C contained in the breast milk reducing. Hence the reason why you need the breast milk to be consumed faster or in a shorter period of time. Secondly, when arranging this breast milk, don't just put them at the front of the freezer. Put them at the back of the freezer, where the coolest part of the freezer, which is the back of the freezer, that is where you are meant to keep those breast milk that you have expressed. Now, if it is in the fridge, breast milk can be preserved in the fridge for up to five days before you give it to your baby. You put it at the back of the fridge so that it can be so cool. Now, one thing to note is when putting this breast milk, 
We are talking about when there's a steady power supply in a workable freezer or fridge. Not the one that today you don't have light, tomorrow you might have light, day after tomorrow in two days you might not have light. That's not the temperature in which we expect this breast milk to live in because they need to be frozen. And thirdly, breast milk can be stored in a room temperature and it can last for up to the period of six hours. So it can last up to a six hours. So if it is in the freezer, it can stay up to 12 months, but it is more advisable to consume it in three months. If it is in the fridge, it can stay or last up to the period of five days. Then if it is under room temperature, it can stay for up to six hours before consuming it. Now, how do you go about giving this frozen breast milk to your babies when it's time for you to feed the baby or when it is time for the person that is helping you to mind the baby, taking care of the baby, either in the crèche or you have a live-in nanny that will be helping you to take care of the baby while you are away or any family member. How do they go or how should they go about um, defrosting the baby milk and giving the baby the milk? What you need to do it is bring out the breast milk from the freezer, get a baby food warmer if you can, like I mentioned earlier, then you put it inside and defrost it and give it to the baby. If you cannot afford that or if you, go, if you don't think or intend of using that, what you can also do is you get a warm water and Put it in the warm water for the breast milk to defrost or for the breast milk to be towed. That is how to defrost the breast milk and that is how it should be given. When it is under room temperature, if it is during a cold weather, if it is during winter, of course it is going to be cold. So you also need to put it in a warm water before you offer it to the baby. Because naturally, breast milk, when you express it, it is very warm. Now, what are the don'ts to breast milk? There are things that you do not need to do to breast milk in order not to harm your baby. I hope you are getting value from this video and from the information I've been sharing so far. If you have stick to this video to this very moment, I believe you are. So kindly subscribe to this channel if you have not. Turn on your notification bell so you get to be notified each time I post an amazing video. And if you are my returning subscriber, thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. It gives me encouragement to keep going on. Thank you. Please keep stopping by all the time. What are the don'ts to breast milk preservation? Like I mentioned, there are things you do not need to do to breast milk. Number one is, after you must have defrosted your baby's milk, and maybe for one reason or the other, the baby is unable to consume the one you have towed or the one you have defrosted. Please do not refrigerate again. Discard that because it can cause harm to the baby. Secondly, do not put breast milk on the fire. Never. Do not because you are going to all the antibodies, all the nutrient, nutrients that is contained in the breast milk by putting it on fire you are going to lose everything. So do not put breast milk on a fire in order to warm it before you give to your baby. Thirdly, another thing that you do not need to do to breast milk is don't mix breast milk with baby formula. For no reason, please, don't mix breast milk with baby formula. Don't defrost breast milk and refrost it again. If it is a leftover, any leftover breast milk should be discarded. And finally, do not make use of plastic bottles or zip locks that are meant for general purpose or for household purpose to store breast milk. Please don't do that because this, there are bottles and zip locks that are meant for that. And so, dear mom, you can see with all of these things that I have mentioned so far, you will be able to breastfeed your baby exclusively not necessarily giving the breast milk from the breast to the baby but you can also use this method to be able to breastfeed your baby exclusively like, why i always advocate for exclusive breastfeeding 
is for the fact that if not for anything, because of two reasons. One of the major reasons to me is the antibodies contained in the breast milk, which we know the baby formula do not have. Then secondly, is because of the cost. It is very cost effective. The money you would have used or spent on baby formula, you can use that money to cater for other needs of the baby. With this, I hope, hey you mom, you'll be able to pull through. Just give this guy that I have mentioned so far to the person that is going to help you mind the baby and you are good to go. You'll be able to do your exclusive breastfeeding for the period of six months. I wish you all the best as you try this. Please let me know if you be trying this method. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. And until I come your way again, in my next video actually, I'll be sharing with you things you need to look out for if you're doing formula feeding or mix feeding. I'll be sharing with you the things you need to look out for in a baby formula meal before you buy and give it to your baby. Thank you so much. Until I come your way again, bye for now.